someone lovely and enchanting. Someone you just can't seem to keep your eyes off of. Because it's like every little detail, every new thing you notice just serves to captivate you more. More and more and more. You can't help it. And that's all right. <laughs> I don't think anyone would blame you, really. And I think a lot of my good pets tend to find themselves captivated by me, admiring and adoring me, <laughs> finding themselves helplessly staring at every little detail every little thing that just makes them want to watch more and listen more and look more. All those lovely things. And of course, there are things that I tend to focus on more, such as my pretty voice that's easy to listen to and easy to find echoing in your head, and my pretty eyes that are very deep and dark, and yet warm and inviting, eyes that you really can get lost in, that feel good to just stare into and forget whatever it was you were thinking about, if you were thinking at all. <laughs> or sometimes it'll be something like my lips, and how lovely my lips are how soft they are, how luscious they are, how nice it feels to watch as I speak the words that echo in your head. <laughs> After all, out of these lips comes that lovely voice that you just find yourself so intoxicated by. <laughs> Sometimes it's things like my hair and how pretty and soft it looks, how it spirals down to frame my pretty face. <laughs> Sometimes it'll be something like my finger and how easy it is to follow, how easy it is to focus on, to lose oneself to, to drop to. <laughs> So really, anything that I choose, anything about me can be used to turn your mind against you, to bring it to my favor, to use anything you find yourself drawn to, to keep you under my control, under my influence. <laughs> To remind you just how good it feels to lose yourself to me, to lose your mind to me. It's always such a wonderful feeling, I think. Don't you agree? <laughs> Very good. Hell, even just my laugh or my giggle or any expression of happiness from me tends to, uh, mess with some people's head quite a bit. It's very cute, I think. <laughs> Makes their mind all fuzzy because they know that their purpose is to please me. So hearing me happy and pleased just makes them feel such bliss. <laughs> it really is adorable. <laughs> Tell me. What do you find yourself captivated by? What do you find yourself adoring, craving, needing? What little details do you find that just seem to captivate you more and more? Each new time you see me, each time you rewatch. What captivates you the most? What lingers in your mind after you've watched? 
when you spend your day doing whatever it is you need to do, what is it that lingers in your mind that you find yourself thinking about again and again and again? <laughs> I'm sure it'll be very interesting to see all the different things that you now realize tend to pull you, draw you in to my control. <laughs> After all, it's only natural, don't you think? Who wouldn't find themselves adoring me, right? <laughs> well, I'm sure I'll be interested to see all your answers and see just how much you crave to see and hear more and more and more of me. <laughs> Bye, Pat. <laughs>